And our National Treasury and Planning Cabinet Secretary nominee John Buddy has promised to publish and make public the national debt registered annually. Appearing before the National Assembly Committee on Appointments for Vetting this morning, Buddy decried the lack of transparency with the national debt that has a huge bearing on the national budget. Bridget Sangana has more on that. Banking on his two-decade-plus accounting career and 15 years' service as a member of the Parliamentary Budget and Appropriations Committee, John Mbadi faced the National Assembly Appointments Committee for vetting in his quest to be the Treasury Cabinet Secretary in President William Ruto's new cabinet lineup. Mbadi saying that Kenyans deserved to know who the national creditors are. One of the things that I think we need to do is to make a debt register a statutory document, which should be published every year. For Mbadi, Kenya's revenue problem is with the current state of the Kenya Revenue Authority that needs a revamp. KRA is like a cow which we milk without feeding. Look at the system that uh, KRA is using at the moment. It needs re-engineering. Custom duties, we are losing a lot through smuggling, through counterfeit products. There was a time when KRA had a very good policy of graduate recruitment and they were properly trained. The way we are recruiting staff at KRA at the moment and deploying them needs to be relooked into. Under his tenure, Mbadi is promising to resolve the pending bills still made that has since risen to the tune of more than 600 billion shillings. We should criminalize failure to pay pending bills. I will make sure that we have a system in place which locks anyone who attempts to pay a new bill and ignoring an old one, the system can lock you out. If approved, counties will have a smooth running since Mbadi has promised to ensure that the money is disbursed to the devolved units will arrive on time and will never be reviewed downwards. We are incurring a lot as a country by failing to send monies to counties within the required time. Why? Because counties end up borrowing money from commercial banks and pay huge interests. Having public-private partnerships on large and small government projects will be a priority for Mbadi as he seeks to ease government investments in short and long-term projects. Under his leadership, Mbadi says Treasury will only borrow to finance investments that will yield returns to the country. Bridget's Ghana, NTV.